week to tell us a little bit about it. I've been waiting two years for this concert, and I love them so much. It's pretty definite that he wasn't going to come back, but I'm really glad that he did. In 1990, Robert Smith declared that the tour and cure were over. The real reason why I didn't like to do it, why I got to the end of the last tour and didn't want to do it again, isn't got anything to do with the concerts. Like they were brilliant, and, it, and these ones so far have been even better. But it's the, the other side of it, of actually beginning to believe that, that you know the way that people look at you and the way that people treat you, that you believe that you're somehow different and more than human, and it makes you go a bit funny. And I don't. I don't like that feeling. To work off any touring anxieties, the band played some scaled-down shows before heading off to America. We played really small places, places that we haven't played for about eight or nine years, um, like theatres that would hold and clubs that would hold like 1,500 or 2,000 people. So we, and it and it worked in, in a way that it, it kind of made us think about what we were doing on stage. I think it, it, it generated a kind of intensity that we probably wouldn't have had if we just. Arrived in America, got you know, and just walked onto a huge stage. The Cure needn't have worried, since their loyal fans showed up in droves to hear their favourite Cure classics, as well as new material off the current album Wish. Obviously, we, we, we want to play the new songs because they're fresh and exciting for us. I mean, uh, we're not going to cut out like old favourites because obviously, like, if the audience want to hear them, we're going to play them. up the first song I just it got under my skin and I had to go you know I think with Wish a lot of people have picked up on High and Friday in Love and they've kind of ignored the depth of the, of the record I think when people listen through to it a few times they'll appreciate that it's more varied I think just calling it an upbeat album's a bit tame really Robert Smith once said the cure would never go mainstream unless the mainstream came to them well wish entered the billboard album chart at number two right behind another English group that isn't exactly at the top of Robert Smith's all-time favorite band list I've wanted the album to be number one in America I hate that <laughs> but I hate them anyway but I hate them even more I think they should be number one forget everybody else cure all the way So contrary to Robert Smith's uh, previous statement, The Cure are out on tour again. That's good to hear.